guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have The Merciless One by Nanny Mufauna. So this is the second book to The Gilded Ones. The Gilded Ones was absolutely amazing. I love the concept of Deku. Deku? 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 Deku. Sorry, Deku. Deku. I've got anime in my head. Um, so this book is actually from Books Loving Candles. Um, they did this as the second book. Unfortunately, it's not going to match my first book of the Gilded Ones because that one is actually their third edition and this one's not. So while the third edition one is kind of shiny, this is kind of, you know, kind of like a different, completely different one. So this is what the front cover looks like, but our sprayed edges are literally this. I love it. Then also we have something about it. I'll get to the back so I have not. Will they see as warriors or monsters? I don't know, but it was such a good book. And look at that map. Look at that map. Yep. That is of all terror. Terror. Love a good map in a book. Don't you all? Don't you? Come on. Who doesn't love a, book, a good map in a book, though? Right. <clears throat> it's been six months since they have freed the goddess says, or in the ancient kingdom of Otera, Otera, and discovers who she really is. But, war is raging across the kingdom and the real battles have only just begun. For there is a dark force grown in Otera, Otera a merciless power that Decker and her army must stop. So, if you remember from the last book, um, she has this power, and some, like, some mighty ass power, and basically, she was like, I need to, basically, to... Oh my god, I read this book like a while back when it came out. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh my god. I've just gone completely blank on it. <coughs> oh my god. Um, I've just gone completely blank on it, guys. Okay. <coughs> Yet hidden secrets threaten to destroy everything Decker has known. But with her own gift changing, Decker might discover she holds the key to saving the terror, or is it might be the thing that is the greatest threat. So she has powers, her powers are magnificent. She literally overthrows it, but her powers are growing. So the six month jump between the end of the Gilded Ones and then to the beginning of the Merciless Ones felt very suddenly, um, very suddenly, very sudden, mainly because of the fact that the snowball begins right in the middle of the action and it took a little time for me to adjust Decker's world and I did feel a little a bit lost at the beginning the point where I was like okay I don't understand what's going on I'm gonna kind of put the book down and then I didn't came back to it for a few days and then went back into it again so I was like I'm confused what just happened um but okay however I enjoyed the direction of this novel went in at first I thought the plot was going to be very predictable but I'm happy to say it took some directions and took me by some surprise and some reps by those as well i did not see coming um which definitely helped me keep my interest into the book unfortunately the writing reader let the message one down i struggled to push through to the end um i'm not sure why because the first book was amazing and i really liked the book but i got to the second book and the book was slowly going to like sideways to me i was like i'm not sure if i ever can understand it what's the plot going on where the characters are going but like I said, I really did awfully enjoy, did enjoy this book. Um, I am going to be keeping it on my shelf. And see, I will, when you I do my collection video, guys, you will see the books together and you'll see why they don't match. <coughs> <coughs> There's a lot of uh, repetition of ideas very close together in the book. In one paragraph, Decker will tell us why she's undertaken a mission X. And then a paragraph or two later, same thing again, slightly different wording. I understand the expression, uh, the kind of the word into it, and just wanted the story to move on. But similarly, there is too much telling to the, in this novel. We sh we are told what to think and how to interpret certain words or phrases instead of being allowed to figure out for ourselves. What could have been another source of noise as the jokes end up being explained rather than trust being placed in the reader. So there were, like I said, there were jokes in there, and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then next, you know, they're explaining you what the joke was, and I'm like, oh. That's not funny anymore now because now you know the joke. Overall, the premises have remained fun and interesting, yet the delivery of the message really did let it down. I can see where it has been a funny sequel for those who've been heavily interested in the first novel. 
but I think it needs to be a little bit more to further my de devotion in it. But like I said, I did enjoy the book anyway, and I was really, really, really excited to vomit. And I'm really happy that I finally read this book, and I'm finally prepared to have it on my shelf. So every time there's a book, a second book coming out to a series, I'm like, I need to read it. I need to read it. I have a few books that still wait on the second book that I haven't got myself around to to actually getting yet, and I'm really struggling. Like, I need to read that book like now. But that is the end of this book. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.